Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ayan. 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 Okay, so I encourage everyone. Uh, can we move forward para mamaya pag yung ating trabaho ay hindi tayo may store po? Please? Ay, hindi po, hindi kayo mag-move forward. Hindi kayo, hindi na may store po mamaya. your right, behind you, at your left, and say, Hello, kapatid. Kamusta ka? Kamusta ka? Sabi, kamusta ka? Masaya ako nakita kita. Kasama ni ka. Oh, wala, wala, wala kayo foreign journal. Okay, so before we start, before we start, I would like to, uh, I would like ask your silence, okay? Silence back there, okay. Before we start, I would like to encourage you, brothers and sisters, why we are here, okay? This is the moment that God given us a chance once again to praise Him and to worship Him. What is, uh, ano ba ang ginagawa natin kapag nagpipraise or nagpupurin sa Tagalog kapag pinupurin natin siya? We praise God, pinupurin natin siya kapag uh, ina-acknowledge natin yung kanyang mga katangihan. Okay? Halimbawa, Lord, you are almighty, you are powerful. At nagpapasalamat tayo sa kanyang mga ginawa sa ating mga buhay. Okay, I thank you, Lord, for healing me. I thank you for blessing me. I thank you for everything. And that is a part of praise. But it is not the same with worship. Now, worship is this. We worship the Lord when you say that, Lord, you are the one I need most. God, you are the one who completes me. You are the one that I love the most. You are my number one treasure. You are, if there are many important persons in my life, there is no one else but you. And that is worship. So, singing, clapping your hands, they are playing instruments there. It's not the totality of praise and worship. Okay? It is praise and worship is based on our heart and our mind, how, what we know and what we think about God. And that is praise and worship. So, everything we do now, here physically, you're showing me speaking now, uh, that is um, what you see, but the Lord is looking into our hearts. Do you want to praise the Lord tonight? Amen. Do you want to give thanks to Him? Amen. And most of all, do you want to worship God? Amen. Let's stand up. Hallelujah. Prepare yourself to praise and worship the Lord. So don't mind the person be beside you. Just think of God because this is between you and God. Okay? It's not about me, not about you, not about them. But this is about God and you. Okay? So let's bow our head and let us pray. Father, we give you thanks, Lord, for your mercy, for your grace towards us, Father, that, Lord, once again, you given us time, Father, to gather in this place to look back at you, Father, O Lord, and to give you thanks, to remember everything you have done, and to acknowledge you further in our life, that you are our mighty creator, our loving God, our best friend, uh, the one who provides all our needs, the one who protects us, the one who loves us most, Father. And you are the one, O God, who gives us life, Father, every day. And we thank you, Lord, we worship you, Father God. Lord, as we open our hearts towards you, O Father, we pray, Father, do whatever you want to do in our life. Bless us, change us, Father. Mold us, Father, into your likeness. And, O God, 
Yahweh, our loving God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, Father, we entrust this worship service to you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen.
Lord, you are worth it. You are a master, oh God. Father, as we continue worshiping you tonight, oh Lord, Father, we open our hearts to you. All the rooms we have in life, including Lord, our secret rooms, Father. Lord, tonight, we are opening all the doors.
for tonight. Sabi nga po dyan, love begins and may invite everyone to stand up bago tayo magsimula ulit. Kamu po lang, ano? So napakaikli ng verse natin at madaling madali ninyo yung ano, sarap ng Tagalog kapag <laughs> uh, tawag dito. May invite everyone. Ayan. May I have your attention please? Ayan. And let us read the word of God. It says here, We love because He first loved us. And let us begin this service with a prayer once again before we go to our topic. Hallelujah, Father. We thank you for tonight. We thank you for the lives of everyone. Blessed be your name, O God, in this place and all the things there is that is in our life. Whatever the things that we have surrendered and laid down tonight, Lord, you are the one who's going to be meeting our um, uh, needs in uh, in this place, O God. And Lord, as we um, dwell in your presence, Lord, let the power of your Holy Spirit really moves in each and uh, everyone's heart, O God. May you uh, cover us with your most precious blood. And Lord, let be your servant be a mouthpiece tonight. Let it be that more of you shall be seen and less of me, O God. We thank you for everything. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Ayan. Sige, so ready na? Yes! Ayun, mga gising pa. Kasi minsan may namumungay na, ano? Masarap din pala mag-Tagalog kaso naghanda ako English eh, ano? Ayan. So ano, English na gano'n? Ayan, ano, English na ako. Sige, simula na natin. So, sabi nga nila, ang tawag dito, February! 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 Ayan. Sabi nga, happy month of February sa bawat isa. At yung mga karamihan sa atin, we are referring this month as ano daw? Love month. Whether you admit it or not, we used to associate what? This month, saan? Sa pag-ibig. Kaya yung iba, sabi nila, yan daw, yung February daw, February is Feb-ibig. May iba pa, yung Feb-ibig is the answer. Thank you, ABS-CBN. Mga ano yan. And at the same time, sabi nga, di yan yung binabate, yung inyong mga mahal sa buhay ng Happy Valentine's. Ano? Valentine's. <laughs> Valentine's. No. <laughs> so, this is how the world taught us of this month. More on, sabi nga, pinapahalagahan natin yung buwan na ito dahil sabi nga, dito masarap magalo. Tawag dito, mag-express ng pag-ibig. Yung iba, mag-propose. Dito din karaniwan. Sabi nga, our pastor Mabesh once says, sabi nga, those who has been, ano uh, uh, daw? Tawag dito, nabuo noong February 14. That's why mayroong Children's Day sa kanilang bansa. In India, November 14. Exactly nine months. <laughs> Pagkatapos ng pag-ibig month. Ayan. So, lahat tayo, we are familiar with this uh, with this celebration na ginaganap sa buong mundo and I am for sure you have your plans and I believe sabi nga maraming salamat sa bawat isang nag-attend at the same time at makikinig ng salita ng Panginoon so huwag na natin patagalin intro pa lang yan mga kaibigan sabi nga yun daw pag-ibig meron dyan makikita ninyo kita ba yung ano Nababasa ba yung link dyan? Kung gusto daw ninyong makita, ano daw yung seven types of love? Makikita nyo dyan? ElizabethWriter.com slash seven types of love and what they mean. Ayan. So, kung kisahan daw natin, ano po yung Eros? May Eros, mayroong Pelia, ayan. Sabi daw yung Eros is a romantic love, a passionate love of the body and associated most commonly with lust. Ayan. And because Eros is so, because Eros is solely, may nakasum. So mga nakasum, we're going to be shifting in English. So in Eros, it's only about physical love. And in the same way, the other is Pelia, which is affectionate and a friendly love, shared between friends and intimate family member. Family member, ayan. Storge, at the same time, ah, Ludus pa yun ako na? Ludus, sabi doon, Ludus is a flirtatious kind of love. And it's, having, it's like having a crush on someone, but acting on it. Most of us, sabi dito, may mga crush pero hindi. Tandaan yung high school ninyo, nagpakatorpe kayo, ano? Hmm. Parang matahimik ng mga tao dito. Hirap mag-joke eh, kapag katahimik. So, <laughs> 
Dahil sabi niya, the next one is store J. And sabi niya, it is an unconditional love, a familial love that you are going to feel like a love of a parent to their child. Ayan, it is protective and it's a kinship-based kind of love. Now, there is another thing. Sabi niya, pragma. Pragma is a committed, long-lasting love. If, uh, if ever, if you have ever seen, sabi nga doon, a long-term marriages and friendship, that is called pragma. And at the same time, yung, eto ang hinahirap, tilaw siya. Oh, pag na, ano, tilay siya. Ayan. So sabi niya, self-love, self-compassion, can more as a narcissistic behavior, arrogance, when it becomes unhealthy, it is a self-love. Sabi doon, if it becomes unhealthy, it becomes, sabi nga, narcissistic. Ayan. Oh, nagiging kang arugan. Ayan. Bakit? Mahal ko yung sarili ko. Ako lang, ako lang. Ayan. At yung pinakamahalaga sa bawat sa atin, and I believe, I am sure that most of you are familiar with this, it is the agape, or agapao. And it says there, selfless, and it is a universal love. It is empathetic, selfless love for the others. Ayan. So, enough of the introduction, sabi doon, let us ask you a question. Sorry muna. Aside from the love that you are given. Say yan. Sino dito yung in relationship? Yung mga hindi nagtaas ng kamay ay mga pula. <laughs> yeah. Sino yung mga nasa in relationship dito? I'd like to ask you a question. Especially ladies. Ayan. Aside from love, given that they are loyal and faithful, ayan, what do you like for a partner? Responsibility, ano? Ano? Responsible? Ayan. Ano daw yung gusto? God-fearing. God-fearing? Oh, ganda ng sagot. Oo. Sino pa? Who among you? Pogi. Ayan, Pogi. Presence of God. May presence daw, na? Ano? Presence of God inside. Ah, okay. The presence of God inside. Sige. Kuhanin natin yan. Ayan. So, sabi doon, again, we love because He first loved us. Alam nyo ba, sabi doon, that the love that we actually knew, pwede nyo basahin yan, pwede ko din basahin dito, is the only result of what God has already done for us. Kaya pala tayo nagmamahal, the Lord has already loved us since the beginning. And yan yung topic natin kung bakit yan love begins. Ano? And sabi dito, in the beginning, the world and everything were created by God. I believe most of you are familiar about Genesis, the first book in the Bible. Everything in it were created by God. Everything functioned as He intended. He had intended. He made everything that is good, righteous, and holy. Ayan. So yung pag-ibig ba na, ayan, natin nandyan sa kategorya niyan? So, nung sinabi natin kanina, sabi doon, everything has created, sorry, was created beforehand. And tonight, let me present you a love, ang sabi nga doon, a love that has a plan. Tingnan mo yung katabi mo. Mukha pa may plan yung bukas. Mukha may plan yung bukas. Yung bang mga minamahal natin, yung mga minahal natin, ang gusto ko, kanina, in-expect ko, mayroon mga ganyan. Ang gusto ko sa lalaki, yung may plano. Ayan, yung may plano sa buhay. Ling, ano yung plano natin sa weekend? Sa ganyan. Do you understand? Okay. So, let us read in Genesis 1, 26-27. It says there, Then God said, can you help me? Then God said, Let's make, uh, let's make mankind in, in our so that they may rule over una, the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky over the livestock and all the wild animals and all over the creatures that move along the ground. So God created mankind in His own image. In the image of God, He created them. Male and female, He created them. Mas Nilikaya ng Panginoon. Ayan. Kaibig-ibig. Yeah. Lovely, di ba? Yeah. 
You are fearfully, wonderfully made. Sabi nga sa Bible. Ano nga? Tingnan nyo nga ulit! Parang hindi kayo tipingin na lang. Magkakagalit ba kayo? Sabihin nyo lang! Okay? Ngayon, sabi niya, fearfully and wonderfully made ka ba? Oh? Kaibig-ibig at kapakotao. Ano? <laughs> Hallelujah! So, ang sabi dyan, okay? <coughs> In the Garden of Eden daw, sabi doon, nung sinimula ng Panginoon yung Garden of Eden, ito ay, na, sorry, this is an essential place to begin with and everything in it was created by God. It functioned on what He has intended. And sabi doon, bago pa, before we even come, before God has even created the first man, He has laid down all the plans there is for the man to live. Tama? Ano yung unang creation? Sabi nga doon, let there be light. Pangalawang araw, ano sabi, uh, ang, ang pangalawang araw doon, sabi doon, mayroong sky na inilagay. Ayan, ganun ang kodi ko. Kaya makikita natin dito, dry land and plants. Noong third day, sun and moon, sun, moon and stars on the fourth day. Number five, uh, fifth day is sea and flying creatures. And six is land animals and human. Ayan. So, your seventh day, he has reserved it for him to rest. I know you know the story. So, let us move further. Sabi nga dito, si David noong nakita daw, nung sa isa sa kanya mga Psalms, Psalms 8, 3, and 4, he has says this, that when I considered your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is mankind to you? He cannot help himself but to wonder what kind, sabi nga, what is mankind to God that he is mindful of them. Bakit ang Panginoon ay isip na isip? Doon sa tao, tama ba yung Tagalog ko? That he is mindful of them, human beings that you care for them. Isn't it good that you, what? That you realize or maybe you just rehear this kind of thing that God cares for you. Minsan kasi magsesel din tayo, nobody cares for me. Huwag kang mag-alala. God cares for you. And even David says here, ano sabi doon? Human beings that you have cared for them. You made them rulers of the works of your hands. And yung binasa natin kanina in Genesis, you put everything under their feet, all flocks and herd, and the animals of the wild, the birds in the sky, the fish in the sea, and sabi doon, all the swim, the path of the seas. And sabi dito, hello, ito yung, ang tawag dito, ito yung laging gasgas na gasgas na sa mga may paborito dito. Ano? Favorite verse. Favorite verse. Yung iba? Ano yun? Life verse pa. At nakalagay dyan. Sabi doon, for I know, sa mga nakakapag-life verse dito, let us read. Okay, and context-wise, it was spoken to the people in the midst of hardship and suffering. And sabi nga doon, they would like to have an immediate rescue that time. But you see, God, whenever that He has a plan, He always laid down, okay, Janka, will you trust what I plan for your life? It is the same tonight. When you come here, you have trusted your friend who had invited you. Nagtiwala ka sa kaibigan mo. Sabi mo, masaya mo. <laughs> but puro seryoso yung tao. Okay? So, sabi dito, ang Panginoon, He always have the best of plan for us. And now, sabi dito, bakit? Bago pa lang tayo ilalabas dito sa ating mundo, okay? Even the kauna-una na tayo sabi dito, sabi dito sa Psalms 139-13, For you created my inmost being, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. And in Jeremiah, niliitan ko sa niya yan, before, dahil, yan na yung aking, ano, tawag uh, dito, kondi ko, before I were you, yung nakakabasa ba? Meron. May malilino pa ang mata. Before I formed you, ano sabi doon? I, I knew you. Jeremiah 1, 5a, it says, Before I formed you, in the womb, I know you. May mas maliit pa dyan. 
Alam nyo yung I knew I loved you before I met you? May humimik ka. Some may say, sabi doon, some may say that it's just a lyrics from a worldly song that I know. Savage Garden, if I'm not mistaken. Ano? Okay. Other may say that it is maybe it may be possible when you dream of someone and then you met them in person. Correct? Naniniwala ba kayo doon sa salita yan? I knew I love you before I met you. Parang wala talaga ako kausap dito. No? Dito na kaya ako wala. Ang tayo ko sa lungo. Okay. So, sino dito yung mga nanay na? Nanay, 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 ayan. Panahon na, pakita sa ating mga kamay. Ayan, hello. So, for those who are mothers here, ayan, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Ano? Nakukuha ba ninyo? Bakit kaya? Kasi nanay ka. Before you even met, before you and your baby met face to face, you knew You love who's inside you. Tama? Kaya nga sabi dito, for you created my inmost being, you hit me together in my mother's womb, yung nakaka-relate in that kind of love, karaniwan mother. Ano? Kasi, I love you, baby. Ayan. Bilibili pa rin sa akin. So, so, ang hirap talaga. Pag-seryoso yung ano? Last ko na ba yun? So, sabi doon, Meron daw tayong ganong, ah, uh, ang tawag dito. During pregnancy, we love what is inside us and before we get even to see our baby. Ayan. Sige, if everyone, sabi nga, kung lahat tayo pinanganak, tingnan nyo yung ako sabi mo, tanungin mo, pinanganak ka ba? <laughs> of course! Kung hindi ang pinanganak, hindi mo yung mga kasabi ngayon. Okay? Una, sabihin mo sa kanila, mahal ka ng magulang mo. Baka kasi nagkakalimutan na tayo eh, ano? Sometimes we really just need somebody to tell us that your parents love you. Kahit mag-aaway kayo minsan. Ano? At ito pa yung sabong sabihin, mahalin mo magulang mo. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. But do you know that there's still a greater love than that? Ano? Kaya nga nakalagay dyan, ano? Sabi doon, He who knitted you on your mother's womb, He loved you the most. Yun ay pagmamahal ng Panginoon. Kung hindi ka niya mahal, may baka hindi ka niya binuo. Ano? You may be, uh, you may be consenting your father and your mother about making you and making you out of this world, sabi nga. Pero, what's gonna happen? The God that loves you even before you even met Him. He loved you already exactly who you are really now. Maging sinner ka man, maging Christian ka man, maging malamala, ano ba yung malamala? Hot and cold minsan. Okay? Mahal ka ng Panginoon. And I'd like you to remember this. Bago mo pa siya matutunang mahalin, mahal na mahal na. Ang hirap kaya, no? No. Whenever that you're loving someone and that's not reciprocating, equally of what you were showing to them. Ilagay nyo yung puso nyo sa puso ng Panginoon. He keep reaching you out. And at the same time, ano sabi doon? You keep on running away. Sometimes that, those are the things that we are giving back to God. When He loves us the first time, He brings all the plan that He can do in order for us to what? To prosper. Adam and Eve, per se, before anything else, all the foods there is, He supplies. Okay, and we're going to tackle that later on. Pero sabi dito, Then God said, Let the land produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants and trees on the land, and bear that bear fruit with seed in it, according to their various kind. And it was so. The land produced vegetation, Plants bearing seed according to their kinds and trees bearing fruit with seed according to their kinds and God so it was good. Ang nagmamahal, ayan, okay, sorry. Ang nagmamahal, nagpo-provide. Okay? 
Another thing that we would like to what? To, to discuss here is how God provides. If you love the person, if you love your creation, of course you provide. And this is evident. When we say evident, it is always in the Bible. How many of you have read this part in the Bible already? Or you're just reading it now? It says here, Then God said, I give you every seed bearing plant on the face of the whole earth. Every tree that has fruit with seed in it, they will be yours for food. And to all the bees on earth and all the birds in the sky and the creatures that move along the ground, everything that has breath of life in it, I give green plant for food. Mabuhay ang mga bigan. Bakit? Totoo, biblical na yun. No? Yung mga nagpa-plant-based diet dyan, okay? Nasa tama kayong landas. Okay? At the same time, ang sabi dito, there are a past forward time and contact from, uh, from Genesis and you will find who among you? Nakikita ba ng maayos? Yung pictures? Ayan. Can you see these pictures and do you remember stories in this? And this is such examples of how God provides in the Bible. Kuya, ano yung kambing? Genesis 22, when Isaac when Isaac is about to be sacrificed, it was what? God. God asked Abraham to sacrifice Isaac. At that time, Abraham has the heart and ready and his, his faith is tested. He laid down Isaac and when he's about to what? To sacrifice Isaac, he saw this ram in placement of his son. Okay? Kind of something that should remind us. Naintindihan nyo yung Jehovah Jireh or Jireh, yung sabi ng iba. Okay? Yung mountain na yun, that mountain where Isaac were supposed to be sacrificed, that is where he declared God provides. Okay? Now, another thing. Exodus. As forward na konti. When they have went out of Egypt, and they were what? They were walking along. They were hungry. Exodus 16 says there that God what? Sent out manna for everyday consumption. Another thing is what? Wala kaming meat. There is quails every day. Ayan. Yung sabi na, ay, pogo, pogo. Yung ba gusto, pogi. So, <laughs> Loading talaga. Ang tatagal. Loading. Loading talaga. Ganyan pa talaga pag gagawin. Wala lang na energy. Wala lang na energy. Ako, magsisimula pa lang kayo. So, when they were thirsty, Exodus 17, God asked Moses to what? To strike the rock and the rock has produces water. Familiar, right? Ay, kuya, ano yung buwak? Elijah. Ayan, si Elijah na, okay. Elijah was a prophet of God, okay. He has what? Prophesied and declared there will be no rain until I says so. So the kingdom was searching for him. It was a manhunt for Elijah. And what? God has asked him to go to hiding in the ravine. Alam mo yung ravine? Bangin. Ilang na lugar. And where there's a small group, ano sabi doon, I will provide food for you. Alam mo yung, yung provision ni Lord when it comes to Elijah? It was being carried by the crows, bread, and what? And meat. Wag you. Wag <laughs> you. I don't know whether the crow has... Yung, 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 ano may luha ng crow yung ano? Yung, uh, yung meat? In order for it to be to be brought to Elijah, but the Bible says it is, so I believe that. Okay? That's how we should be. What the Bible says, I believe that it. That is. I settle for what the Bible says. Okay? Baka may magtanong, kuya, saan niya pinuha yung ano? Yung steak. Okay? So another one. Sabi doon, when there is a miraculous catch of fish, 
It was the time of Jesus. And you will find that in John 6 as well, there is feeding for 5,000. Na ulitin na yun yun. Feeding for 4,000. Okay? See the provision? Where well, it is going? But you know, dun sa Luke 5, ayan, the miraculous catch of fish that happened that time, habang hinahanap ko yun dito, ayan, okay, there should be a response that is being taught to us by what? By one of the disciples of Jesus Christ. Do you remember Peter? Yes. Peter, si Pedro. Yes. Ayan. When he has caught, wait, before he catch this multitude amount of fish, this miraculous catch of fish, they were what? They were trying to catch it all night long. He threw his net to the left, he threw his net to the right, and what? Sabi ko sa kanta mga bata, and they got no fishes. Oh. So, nung dumating si Jesus, he says, throw it to your right, and Peter will go and say, hindi mo nang ginawa namin eh. Okay? How many of you, ayan, when God tell you to do something, okay, you are going to doubt God's goodness because you have tried every possible action there is. But you know sometimes, obey, ah, sorry, obedience leads to what? To God's provision. When Jesus tells Peter, Peter, heed or listen to Jesus, he throw the net and he catch miraculous what? Catch of fish. There is a lot that he has to call another boat in, boat in order for what, what? To drag the fishes to the shore. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay? If you are Peter, if you are Peter, where would you look at that time? Will you be amazed? of the provision that you have received from God, may tumatawa. But you will find, if you're going to read that, in Luke 5, Peter kneeled down to Jesus. What did he say? Go away from me, my Lord, for I am a sinful person. You see? Yan, lumaki. His provision should lead us to our what? Contriction. Kung hindi nyo alam kung ano yung contriction, nandun sa baba. Okay? A state of feeling, sorry, feeling remorseful or penitent. You are repentant. Why? His goodness leads you to repentance. Lord, what do I? What did I do that I deserve this? I know that I nakakalimot ako mag quiet time. I know that I forgot my quiet time. I know that I even forget praying and even reading your Bible and yet you have blessed me. Most of us may say that, yes, blessing. But you know, a rightful Christian, a Christian that follows the heart of God will always what? Have this conviction. Okay? Have this remorseful feeling, Lord, what have I done? And you still bless me. In my life. That kind of love, that kind of provision, that kind of uh, love that provides will always gonna lead him back, lead us back to him. Okay? Contrition. Tama? Gusto ko sana mag pero seryoso pa yun. Ano daw ba yung contrition? Kapag katap yun, contrition niya. So, now, let's go back to Genesis, and it says there, Genesis! Ang taga? Hi, yung talaga? Three yun, yun, no? Oh, that's three, but I don't know, but three yun. Okay, so, yun, maya-maya, pa yun pa, pag nasa metro na, sa kamaan na lang. Yung pala yun. Joke pala yun. Joke pala yun, okay? So, Genesis 2, verse 9 and 16 and 17, the Lord made, what? All kind of trees, Grow out of the ground. Yes. Basa. Trees that were easy to the eye and good, good for food. food. In the middle of the garden, for the tree of life, and the tree of life shall be revealed. And the Lord God commanded the man, You are free to eat from any tree in the garden. But you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, for when you eat it, what? Eat. 
from it, you will certainly die. To those who know the story, they, they really die. Okay? May naka, meron akong mga dyan. Meron akong, meron akong kote ko dyan. It says there, a parent to a child is what? Will warn them, warn them not to wander around so that they may not get lost or separated. Kung mahal mo, ayan, iwa-warn mo. Ano? Okay? I warn you. Ayan, sabi. Ayan. A love that protects. Even from the beginning, God has already this kind of care and this kind of love that what? I don't want you to get separated with me. Ano? And you know the story. The story goes that they were tempted, they have sinned, they got separated from God. Okay? There's the saddest part. One of the saddest part in the Bible that see, everything that is in there is not enough for a man to for, for a man to what? To consume. But yet, when they say that you, you, you must not eat from the tree of knowledge and good and evil, yet still, they fall to temptation and they eat. But you know, love of God, this protection that we speak of, is what? Is still present. You know, right after of what they have done. Ayan. Madami na picture. Now, right after of what they have done, this Adam and Eve, they have covered themselves with what? With a leaf of fig tree. Big enough to cover what? To cover their bodies. Do you know why Adam and Eve was what? Naked at the very first time. They were the very first couple that what? That we're seeing in the Bible. And some of our pastors and some of the counselors, whenever that you are going to hear this, they are naked because they are transparent with one another. But since the sin intervenes, they what? They felt shame and they wanted to cover themselves. They covered themselves with what? A fig leaves that is temporary. And before they even vanish, see the protection of God here. Before they even get out the, the garden, He what? He has given them a garment of animal skin. And it doesn't it, it's not magically okay. Animal skin be with Adam and Eve. It has to be sacrificed. A foreshadowing of things that is coming. One who will be sacrificed to cover our shame. Do you understand? Amen. And since then on, He is on a rescue mission. God will always become a rescuer to those who are oppressed. If you're going to find in um, uh, sorry in uh, Exodus, while they are traveling in day, a pillar of clouds are guiding them and following them. And by night, it was a pillar of fire. Ayan. When they are going to cross and the enemy is catching up on them, they have part what? Moses, by the power of God, parted the Red Sea. Now, who among you here? I, by the way, I have missed the ark, by the way. Noah. God was really what? Regretful of the things that man was doing. It is not the regret of I have created them. No, because I love them so much and yet they have done this. And he has to what? He has to flood the world in order for what? To extinguish those what? Evil in the persons. And the only righteous man at that time who lives was Noah. He hid God's call and what? The ark is what becomes their protection against the flood. Ano ba yung pa Daniel and Elias. Who among you are familiar with this? He was framed by what? By some of his uh, uh, co-workers. Because he was praying. Why? Because of he is praying. Correct? And because of that, he was thrown in the den of lions. What kind of protection you will be needing from God? Yung mosmo leon o tigre. My God is able. My God is able to shut even the mouth of the lion. I believe that. I believe you can shut my mosque up. Alright? 
the fourth man in the fire, the fairy furnace, wherein Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was there. What? When they have been thrown to the furnace, what was God's protection? The people that throw them in the fire say, I think I'm seeing a fourth man in the fire. And I think it's the Son of God. Who among you here may say that Christ was never what? Was never present in the Old Testament. He is present since the beginning. His love is present since the beginning. The fourth man in the fire is looking like a son of God. You see, the huge fish, who is associated with the huge fish? You are reading your Bible, okay? The very thing that we thought that it is a punishment is the very thing that takes him to his mission. The big fish. Amen? A huge, huge fish. In the other uh, version, it is a great fish. I don't know how big it is, but this is the picture that I can see. So, rescue mode. This is how God loves. What is the first one? He plans. Okay, it begins with a plan. He continues to what? He continues to provide. And this last one is what? Endlessly protecting each of us. Do you want that kind of love? Talaga. Mahal niyo na ang Diyos? Dati pa. Ano? Okay. Sabi ni Jesus, one of his one of his commandments says that if you love me, you obey my command. And how are you going to know that you, know? you open your mind? No? Amen. Do you want to know more about his love? Read your Bible. It is a love letter for you and I. Amen? Okay. Thanks. Sabi dyan? One time, Jesus was being persecuted because he healed he healed what? What? A man who was paralyzed for how many years? 38, if I'm not mistaken. John 5. And he was being persecuted by the Pharisees. But in his defense, I want uh, to take a look at this. Sometimes we may be able to miss this, even in our Bible studies. In his defense, Jesus said to them, My father is always at his work to this very day. Why? Because that time it was Sabbath. It says by the Pharisees that you should not work in Sabbath day. But Jesus says, my father is what? Is always at his work to this very day. And I too am working. Jesus was working with a father since day one. Since the beginning, since man had fallen on the sin, what did he do? He is on the rescue mission of what is what? What he can do for man. Imagine. Jesus and God will do to that extent in order for what? In order to show his love for you and I. And you know what happened? I'd like you to take a look at it. It was in John 19, verse 30. He was thirsty. And instead of giving him water, they have given him that piece of, you know, the one that they can, they clean the washroom, the toilet bowl, put a vinegar on it, and put it on his mouth. The man, the God, that loves us and protects us. Imagine what did they do? What did they do for him and what he has suffered for you and I? And when he had the drink, Jesus said, It is finished. With that he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. I don't know about you, that whenever that I read his crucifixion, his resurrection, it gave me it gave me such feeling that how could I betray that kind of love that God has given to me? Yes, it was even 2,000 years before my time, and yet 
for a man to suffer for his love for this world. Everyone knows John 3.16 says, right? What he only requires from us, from that love, is what? To accept his son Jesus Christ. And if you right now, today, you have accepted him before and yet you are still living the same kind of life the way that you used to live. How do you say that you love that? That question is for you to answer when you're at home. Commonly, whenever that we are meeting newcomers in the main service, what do we do? We don't ask them, follow this prayer and you will be saved. No. We teach them, what do you need to do? Repent on your sin, on your room, on your, own, uh, on your own words, pray to God, Lord, forgive me for what I have sinned. If you are going to what? If you're going, if you don't know what are those things that you are, um, uh, how, how you have made mistakes in this life, the Holy Spirit is always present. Ask the Holy Spirit, convict me, Lord. Convict me, Holy Spirit, of what I have done in my life. From the moment that I have born until this very day, remind me of those things that I have done openly to God. Ask for forgiveness. Father, forgive me. Jesus, forgive me. I am here. I surrender my life to you. And then on, accept Him as your Lord and Savior. This may be the very first time, or second time, or third time that you may be hearing this, but this is a call for you and me. The God who gives us this love with a plan and continuously provides us of everything the same way that He wanted to protect you from the fires of hell tonight. Accept the Lord Jesus Christ. Genuinely. We may have received him over and over again. But yet, how genuine your acceptance is. Jesus. It is the greatest love and protection that we have received from Jesus Christ. If you become a Christian just because your friends brought you over, Thank him or thank her. Thank God for their life. But you will be more thankful that you have accepted and let Jesus in to your life. The thing that we have received right now, the love, I can barely what, describe. There's a lot of things. There are only three things that I have listed tonight, but there's more that you're going to discover on your own. Do you understand? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Told you, if I get serious, you're going to get. But praise be to God. This is his message of love for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, I were almost done. Jesus, what he did? He died on the cross, right? Before or prior to his crucifixion. What did he say? Greater love has no one than this. To lay down one life in one's friend. Would you what? Lay down your life for your friend. Para. Magpauta nga, hindi. No. <laughs> life pa kaya. Ano? Sabi nga ng mga matatanda, dugo pa kaya ang ibigay. Ano? Hindi na nga makahirap ng lapis. Oh. Dugo pa ang ibigay. Oh. Kawali pa kaya tayo. No? Pero sabi dito, very, sorry, very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person, someone may possibly dare to die. Abay, magan, mabait na tao, mamamatay ako para sa tao yan. Okay? Pero ano nyo, the demonstration of God, what? God demonstrated, what demonstrates His own love for us in this while we were still sinner, Christ died for you and me. Now, for us, nakikita niyo yung weight, no? 
Hindi tayo friends. Sabi ni Jesus doon, greater love, sorry, greater love as no one than this to lay one, sorry, lay down one's life for one's friend. And to begin with, we're God's enemy because of the sin that we were carrying. But because of that kind of love, even when you are a sinner, I'm going to die for you. That is Jesus. Na empower. Mas dalo bang nagiging marudo? Has your feelings, has your love became what? Became alive to love God more. Because that is the goal. To let you know where it begins and where it is going. It is impossible for us to what? It is impossible for us to recognize what the love of God is if we, if we keep on doing things on just our own. I want it this way. Even the, even the song, I want to do it my way. No. The world will always go into the pace how you are going to live. We are going to live above that world standard. Brothers and sisters. Amen? Amen? Gising ba? Tingnan niyo yung katabi niyo. Meron siya dyan. Wala, wala, wala. Gising pa, gising pa. Okay, let me end this. Okay, let us end this in resurrection. Why we always skip? Why we always um, include resurrection? Whether it is for a simple Bible study or for what? Or such teachings. We do not stop when Jesus has died for you and me. Okay? Jesus died and Jesus rose again. Okay? Or if He didn't resurrect it, or He didn't rose back again, your faith is in futile. You are still on your sin. You have to remember this kind of what? Of thing as a Christian. I am saved. I am a Christian and a follower of Jesus Christ because He rose again. He never remained at the cross. I know. Kasi mo, ma, much more of us will always what? Will always picture Jesus at the cross. I don't picture my God, my Lord at the cross. Because the Bible says He is seated high. Sitting the right side of the Father. He is no longer at the cross. Amen? Your Jesus, my Jesus, is what? Is alive. He is alive forevermore. Amen? Amen. And this is the thing. When He resurrected, He was what? He walked with His two what? disciples who were really affected of what had happened. You're going to read at Luke 24. You want to read it? Luke 4, the road to Emmaus. There is one, uh, there was one disciple called Leophas, Cleophas, and they, and Jesus started asking them what have happened along the way. They never recognized who Jesus is. Why? They were focused on his death. But never met along that. Why? Jesus is going to rose again after three days. Now, when he was walking with them, he explained the scripture that it says there, beginning with Moses, his account, so even from the Pentateuch, he is what? He is there. All the prophet, he explained to them what is said in the scripture concerning himself. From the very beginning, sabi nung do you know that fire in the bush? I was there. Do you know Noah's art? I was there. Do you know that manna every day, the daily bread that they were eating? I am there. It's just my word, but take a look at it. Of all those things that we have shown together, Jesus is present at the time. There are theologies that is um, being presented on this kind of things where Jesus is present in the Old Testament and it is called Christophany. Christophany. There is theophany and there is Christophany. The existence of Jesus even before the New Testament. 
because Jesus yeah, okay, was present in each and every time. Now, what I would like you to remember once again tonight is when Jesus is what? The same page wherein he healed the paralytic person. The person that get him what? Get to the Pharisees and get him persecuted. He says there, you study what? Can you read? You study the scriptures because you think his heart yet you refuse okay before we end let me just be clear who among you here is reading the Bible? Amen. Amen. May God take that to us. Thank you for your life. The same way for those who doesn't read the Bible. Now, the thing here is, you might be at the same page as the Pharisees there is. If it says here, see? You study that scripture diligently. You really love what? Reading the Bible. And because you think that what? Jesus says it so. Because you think that in them you have eternal life. You carry your Bible. You have a very good Bible. But what? <coughs> be aware or beware. It testifies about Jesus, but check your life. You may be reading your Bible. You may know verses in memory verses, but yet if you refuse to come to Jesus, what? Will you have that kind of life? John 3.16 again, for those who remember this memory verse, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, to whoever shall believe in Him shall not perish. But we'll have what? Eternal life. Diba? Everlasting. It is the same. Hallelujah. Isn't it great? John 3.17 May nakakay lang? For the Son of Man Yes, Ate Shara. Charity. Go, go. His son, the world. not to condemn the world, but, but to save the world through him. Okay? Ang Panginoon ay pag-ibig. He, what? He first loved us. That's why we love him. Ngayon, masasabi mo, and you can confidently say, I love you, Lord. Bakit? Our response it should lead us, sorry, our response to the scripture, the one that taught us who Jesus is, should lead us to, uh, to come to Him and have a life. Amen? Amen! Amen. 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 Okay, before time, let's just read up a little. Sabi doon, love begins with a plan. And I suppose to have this three section. Love continues. But the topic sana yun eh. And love continue to provide because the love of God will always to continue to provide in each and every one of us. Trust Him. Trust His plan. And you know, He what? He endlessly protects us. Amen? May invite everyone to stand up. Hallelujah. And as we pray, I'd like you to think for a moment, where are we right now in knowing His love? Let us just give just a few minutes. Close your eyes. Reconcile with God. Come to Him in this kind of life. Are we ready to come to Him and have life? If you are ready, raise up your hand. Whether you're going to say this audibly or by your mind alone, Lord, I am ready to have a life with you. 
touch me, touch my heart, my mouth, and my heart. And the thing is, there is that I'd like to surrender. I surrender to you my life. For I know today, tonight, that you have loved me since the beginning. Father, I thank your Son, Jesus Christ, for what he had done on the cross and rose again for my salvation, for our salvation, to be made possible. Lord, come to my life and be the one who reigns it, controls it, and calls the shadow. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Lord, we thank you for tonight. Lord, we bless your name. And as we come to you in the power of your Holy Spirit, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, you have seen each and everyone's heart who draw near and close to you. It says in your word that whenever that we draw near to you, O oh God, you draw near to us. Let your presence be felt. Let your love be felt. We are laying down all those things that we may let unsaid tonight. And for you, O oh God, let the power of the Holy Spirit that is guiding us through keep all the words into our heart that it may bear fruit in proper season, O oh God. We thank you for everything. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen.